today, I'm going to show you how to create this brain-enhancing elixir to unlock the secrets of knowledge. This will be a great addition to our potion prop collection we've been making along the way, or a great accessory to a steampunk cosplay costume. Okay, so what we will need to make our brain-enhancing elixir is one glass bottle, and I like to choose one that has a little bit of a lip or a ridge, so then that way if we want to hang it, we can. Some styling gel. I find the best styling gel is just from the dollar store. Some pearls or beads. Some neon pink gel food coloring. A cup for mixing. A spoon for the mixing. A cooking skewer to help place the beads. Some optional cording. Optional chain. optional uh, lanyard or spring clip, some pliers, some key charms, a funnel to help us fill, and our labels printed on sticker paper. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our plastic cup and spoon and our styling gel, and we are going to add our styling gel to the cup. Okay, and once we get all of our gel in the cup, then we are going to take our neon pink gel food coloring, and we're just gonna put a little bit in here. This food coloring is part of the Betty Crocker Neon Collection. Um, it's hard to find neon food coloring, but um, I, I did find these in my regular grocery store. And I decided to go with pink just because I thought it would be fun to do with the brain enhancing elixir. And the neon quality just kind of steps it up a little bit and adds another element. You can make this whatever color you'd like. Green, blue, yellow, orange, the sky's the limit. Okay, so once we get our pink gel all mixed up, then we're going to take our bottle and uncork it, and we're going to add our funnel. And we're just going to add a little bit of the gel into the bottom before we add our beads. And usually to help get the gel down, you might have to use the cooking skewer just to kind of help nudge it down into the bottle. Okay, so once we get some gel in the bottom of our glass bottle, we're then going to add some of the beads in there. We're not going to do all of them, I just want some of them because the other ones we're going to add a little bit later, so it adds a little bit of a suspension quality. That's part of why um, we use gel a, a lot, because it's got a really great suspension quality and it'll leave things um, suspended in your bottles. Okay, so once we get um, most of our beads in there, we're then just going to take our cooking skewer and kind of mix the beads into the gel. We don't want the beads to look like a separate layer. We want to make them look like they're integrated. So we just kind of want to mix that in with the pink gel and then we'll add the rest of our gel and stir a little bit as we go. Okay, so once you get a decent amount of the gel in here, we're then going to take the cooking skewer and once again, just kind of mix the beads up. We want to make sure that we get just as much gel in the bottom and then again, it doesn't just look like a separate layer. We want to look, make it look like it's integrated in. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our pearls that we had reserved. Thank you. 
and then we're going to add the rest of our gel. Okay, so I just want you to see why we use the gel. You get this amazing suspension quality that you can't get with a lot of other mediums. Um, yes, you can get it with resin, but it's time consuming, toxic. This is completely safe, really inexpensive. And the best part is it's, you know, super easy to find everything. So what's great is we can take our skewer and actually move any of these beads around to wherever we want. To get okay, so now that our potion is all the way filled up and we have our beads where we want them, we can cork it up. And now we're going to embellish our bottle. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take our labels printed on sticker paper and adhere them to our bottle. Um, but first, I want to show you a finishing tip I use, and those of you who have followed along with me, you've seen me do this before. You just take um, a Sharpie or a marker in whatever color that matches the label, and you just kind of go along the edge of the um, label. So I don't know if you can kind of see where it's white and where it's not. And it just gives your label a little bit more of a finished look than just having that stark white edge. And the uh, label is in the description down below, so you can click the link and you'll be able to find all the labels to the bottles that I have done. And the reason we use sticker paper is because it's super easy, it's really affordable to get a whole pack. You can print tons of potion labels um, in a pack of paper. Um, but it makes it so you don't have to deal with glue, um, especially if you're doing this with kids or if you're making a lot at once. It makes it so that you can do a whole bunch and not have to worry about dry time or any of that. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the side that I want to put my label on. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. And then we're just going to stick our label on. Once you get your label on, if you have a curved bottle, it helps to kind of take your nails or a bone folder or a credit card or anything that will just kind of help you smooth out those edges and if need be, um, crease the label just slightly so that it conforms to the curve of your bottle but doesn't take away from the actual label. Then we're going to go ahead and take um, a keyhole. So this is also with the um, label in the description down below and um, I thought it would be kind of fun to add that up here as a little bit of an embellishment since this is um, a brain enhancing elixir to unlock the secrets of knowledge. Um, I decided to kind of go with a key theme for this and again I took the black marker around the outside edge of this to um, just kind of crispen up the edge of our label. So the next thing we're going to do to embellish our bottle is take some of these um, key charms. And um, I picked these up at my local craft store, but I'll have a link in the description down below of where you could pick some up as well. So as you can see, I've taken some chain and added it to our charms so that they'll be at different heights. And it also makes it a little bit easier to get on our cording. So all we're going to do to do that is take some chain. And we're going to take our pliers. And we're just going to open up one of these jump rings or links in our chain and open it up. Then we can take our open link and add on our key. Just put the key on the link. And we're going to close it up. OK, 
Okay, so before we start to wrap the neck of our bottle, we're going to take our keys and we're just going to string them onto a long piece of our cording. Make sure you have enough to wrap around your bottle a couple times. And we're putting the keys on um, and make sure they're in varying lengths as well. So this one has just a couple lengths and then maybe we'll put one that's a little bit longer next to it. But we're going to space them out as we wrap it around the neck of our bottle. So as you can see, we have all of our keys on here and they won't be clustered like this. Again, we're going to wrap them around um, our bottle in different spaces, but I just wanted to show them all strung on here for you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to wrap the neck of our bottle is take our string and make a U. And we're going to hold that against the bottle and then we're going to wrap the cording a couple times. Make sure that you are going over top of your loop here. Then we're going to take one of our keys and add that in and then continue to wrap. And then we're going to add another one of our keys and so on and so forth. And then when we get to the end, we're going to take our tail and pull it through the loop. And then we're going to take the top string and bottom string and pull until it tightens everything up. And then we're going to pull the bottom string so it tucks that knot behind our wrapping. And then we can just trim our ends. So once you get your keys in place on your cording where you want, you could stop right here. Um, However, if you wanted to use this for some steampunk cosplay or anything like that and actually maybe attach it to, say, a belt or um, a purse or something like that, then you would want to take some of our chain and we're going to do a wrap around here and then that's what we're going to link our um, spring clip to. So once you get your chain around there, you just take your jump clip and um, put it right through the chain, and then that way you can hang your bottle. So like I said, you could clip it onto a belt loop, purse, anything like that. Um, if you are going to use this for that, I would recommend that you take a little bit of E6000 glue and just go a little bit around the cork and then push it in, so then that way you don't have that uncork on you while you're wearing it. And I decided that the top felt like it needed just a little bit of embellishment up here. So I did the same method, but I just tied an extra knot to help secure it a little bit. You could also add a little bit of glue, um, and that's completely optional, but I did add that. So there you have it. Our brain enhancing elixir to unlock the secrets of knowledge. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.